Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to direct to Futurama Season 7, Episode 13. I'm very excited to watch this, you guys. It's actually been a while since I've reacted to and filmed any reactions to Futurama because school has started back up, the book has been busy and hectic, and it's hard to get that energy on the weekends to film. But I'm making my way back into doing it more often, and the energy is starting to come back slightly. So, I'm filming more this weekend than I did previous weekends. But, yeah. Uh, just so you know. <laughs> I don't know why if all of you care to know. But, just in case you did. <laughs> but, uh, very excited to watch this. I love Future Rama. And, loving this season so far. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box. And, without further ado, here we go. It's the Futurama Holiday Spectacular. Ooh, a holiday spectacular. Brought to you Fun. by Gunderson's Unshelled Nuts. And this should be coming out in uh, December, I believe. November, December. Nuts. Ooh, I'll have one. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so good. Ew, well, no. What's wrong, Fry? Are you regretting another wasted year? Damn. I don't know. Something about Xmas just doesn't feel like Christmas. Because it's not. Santa's coming! Initiate! Time to lock down again. Oh, Santa. It's great security, though. Hey, gentlemen, in peace. <laughs> Please explain how you celebrate this crazy holiday, preferably in song. Uh, oh, we're gonna get a musical? <gasps> we are. <laughs> it's a Molotov cocktail with eggnog. Love it. No musical number as we all attack each other, try to kill each other. Fun. Okay. Yes, You're welcome. You know, Santa may have mm. killed Scruffy. Oh, Scruffy. What we need is an old-fashioned pine tree. Yeah. Damn it, Virginia. Pine trees have been extinct for over 800 oh, years. Oh, damn. Maybe there's some way to bring the pine Sci trees You're a scientist. You time travel? Come on. Snakes. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. Pine trees aren't barking snakes. They won't just turn up in a salad at Olive Garden. But what? There is one, and as usual, it's Norwegian. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Behold, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. Oh. Since 2008, the vault oh, isn't this like a real thing? Plant species in case of extinction. And I brought a few seeds of my own. <laughs> oh, well, what's your business pokey poking about the seed vault? Poke poke uh, guardian of mankind's precious botanical heritage, there. Oh, we <laughs> just want to rummage about a bit. Just a little oh. rummaging. So, okay. Okay. Yo, Abba, what's that next door? Oh, that's the germ warfare repository. And the windows just open. Is there any chance of cross contamination? No. Oh. Now, your pine trees were all chopped down to make emergency toilet paper during the 50 years' course. <laughs> Damn. Lucky the seeds have been preserved. What's that splork on them? It's not Germ. germs, is it? It's germs. No. They're going to bring these trees back and release a germ like no other. Killing everyone. It's a cute now little that's tree. A tree worth chopping down. Well, no, not yet. Tree, to truly be my finest Xmas ever. Oh. Ooh, that's what my poll numbers need. Happy motors enjoying some holiday cheer. As your vice president, oh, I God. order you to steal that tree. Oh no. <laughs> Gunderson's nuts. <laughs> Yay, it's a real Christmas. Oh, until oh god oh no it's grown really big oh no could the seed have been contaminated by a virus yes. from the germ vault definitely oh yeah i suppose this could be a good thing that weaponized virus 
made the sickly little tree grow big and strong. But there's gotta be a downside, right? Oh god, oh god, it's thrown out. Oh, oh god. It's bombs. Acorn bomb. Pinecone bombs. Oh, Wait, we'll see. Good thing. Reforestation has begun. Maybe, but like, um, will it take over the whole planet? <laughs> if you could control it, it would be great, but I don't see no control here. Wow. That happened fast. Holy. The animals are in heaven. Arguably, this could be a good thing. Stop saying that. Primeval state. Earth is just the way it was before the white man came. <laughs> good news. All these pine trees are fighting global warming by producing oxygen. Wow. Happy now, Gore. <laughs> Happier if I had a set of lungs. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Oxygen levels are rising too rapidly. Oh no. 20, too much oxygen. Sixty percent. As long as it doesn't hit seventy. Eighty percent. Well, we'll screw it. You know, I don't work on anything for a while, but I still feel I deserve a smoke. Good for you. Oh no, I uh, maybe wouldn't oxygen. Oh, hey, cool. The air's on fire. Oh no. And the planet's on fire. Well, shit. Everyone's dead. Stay tuned That's it. for another tale of holiday. Oh, we're just doing like little tales. That was fun, but everyone died. Okay. On to the next one. Okay, crew. Xmas break is over. It's time to destroy these gifts we forgot to deliver. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why don't we open them up? Have a little fun. Every dumb human holiday, but not for robot holidays. Oh, Lord. No, Lord. Not Robonica. Uh, Robonica. Totally Robonica. Robonica. The holiest six and a half weeks in the robot. Six and a half weeks? It's the fake holiday you make up every year to get out of work. <laughs> yeah. And how come there's no song that explains how to celebrate? There, because there is. Exactly. Hit it. Hit what? Yeah. I play under your seat. Play them or I'll break them over your head. Okay, I guess we stop playing. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> okay. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> Copyright is going to love all this music. Begin the traditional oil wrestling. Will the referee bring out the ceremonial cruise of petroleum oil? <laughs> Thank you, Abe. Oh, no. These broads are supposed to wrestle for six and a half weeks, but there's only enough petroleum oil for four and a half weeks. Oh, no. We're still getting paid, right? I told you <laughs> it's an audition. Bender. Four and a half weeks of oil wrestling sounds like plenty. This More than enough. A lousy I got me some whale oil, some squirrel oil. Not squirrel oil? This is a robotica. I reckon I do not. Anyway, <laughs> you're done run out of petroleum oil. <gasps> when? I tried to warn you. <laughs> One unit of free. Nice. That'll be, I don't know, ten bucks? Um. Can you make change for a Nobel Prize? Ah <laughs> oh, man, is subjected to intense pressure for hundreds of millions of years. Oh. I can't wait that long. I've got ADD. <laughs> so unfair. I don't wrestle dry, Benzo. I went to Vesa. <laughs> Professor, I want you to look these poor floozies in the eye and tell them they're. It's really tragic. Over. Just devastating news going on. <laughs> That would be insanely deep within the earth. That pressure's so dangerously high. That... Yep, he's ready to go. Let's go already. Deadly mission just for some oil wrestling. Oh. We're getting pretty deep. Look, mole coffins. Oh. Uh -huh. Whoa. 
tunnel. <laughs> What's that loud book? What is down here? Talking. <gasps> oh. It's an albino humping worm. Oh god, ew. That. What do you think? Because yeah. it doesn't have any pigment. <laughs> The ship can't withstand this much pressure. Sometimes it falls apart just sitting in the hangar. That is true. Master, I've never asked for anything before. Uh, you've asked for a lot, actually. With oil means more to me than life itself. Oh, oh God. Don't fall Call for it. Fool, but I've you are an old fool. 200. I hate to complain about the heat, but the air conditioner's on fire. Oh, no. Why oh, scream, that's too hot for me. Oh, oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? We're all gonna die so this junkyard golem can celebrate Robotica. Yeah. You vile racist. Oh. I'm in my pe now keep drilling for that petroleum oil, you selfish cowards. Damn. Although then again, I guess any kind of oil will be just... Oh, ah! my God. Not my fault. Bender. <laughs> 500 million years later. Hey, where'd the time go? Hey, you guys want to... The dead genius. <gasps> and they turned into petroleum. Oh my god. I thought they were selfish. Yet in the end, oh. it turns out it was I who thought they were selfish. <laughs> but everyone's gone. There was only enough petroleum for four and a half weeks of oil wrestling. So but it thought. lasted 500 million years. <laughs> it's a How? miracle. Happy Robotica, everybody. Yeah, happy Robotica. Woo. Thoughtful interface hijinks. <laughs> and now, the unrelated conclusion. Okay. Oh, they're going to his place of Christmas. Fun. The Barbara, Hermes, happy Kwanzaa. Oh, uh, Kwanzaa. Cake, that makes more sense. But now sense. I'm worried that might be offensive in some way. <laughs> Just sit down. Kwanzaa tradition encourages educational gifts. So I brought Dwight my book on Mathketball. Fun, Mathket. There I'll you go. For you later. Uh -huh. Come on, it's a cool. What, what are you doing here? Look at yourself, all throbbing and shirtless for the holiday. I hope you're ready to celebrate. Oh, all Lord. night long, woman. All night. Whoa. If only someone could tell us more about these traditions. What are you looking at? Oh. oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, child. That's not a made-up character. Uh -huh. It's Kwanzaa Bot. And I'm going to tell y'all how we celebrate. Zoidberg, lay down a beat. How about I just lay down? Fine. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Girl, those stank sticks are for single women who take baths. Damn. If your Kwanzaa candles ain't 100% beeswax, you bring shame on your people. Well, mm. now that won't do. A Kwanzaa ends. Sweet candelabra of La Habra La Babra. Isn't uh -huh. this the last night of Kwanzaa? Who the hell knows? Uh -huh. Madam, I need beeswax. You sure you don't need a little honey handsome? Maybe a taste no. of sweet nectar straight from the hive? <gasps> Gross. I just need. Well, that's too darn bad. There ain't no beeswax in the whole world. How? Oh, no. There's bees right there. It's, uh, like every year before 1966. <laughs> the bees are acting all cranky, tang, and cough syrup, or as I call it, my Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lady. My God, it's colony collapse syndrome. Oh. The bees are swarming with parasites. Ew. They're all dying. Yeah, but what a way to go. Die young, leave a pretty corpse, that's what I say. You should say okay. something else. Please. Wait, <laughs> I know where we're beeswax from those giant space bees who nearly killed oh, us. Oh, yeah. So, now go back there. Let's so I guess go let's back go back. <laughs> to communicate with the bees, we'll need to use these transbumbulators. Transbumbulators. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bender. What do you want me to put on the glass? <laughs> okay. If we survive. <laughs> Something's wrong. It's way too quiet. Like the deadly Prius. <laughs> uh oh. They're in attack formation. They're gonna kill us. Oh. Uh oh. 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 We all just died. That's weird. It's but... like the Meister Air Show all over again. <laughs> 
What is happening to them? According to Google Hive, we are at the exact center of the honeycomb. Oh, and there's a Jamba Juice point two miles that way. Oh, fine. That thing tells the big, fat, ugly, compound-eyed, hairy thorax. The one right behind you. Don't uh -huh. be applying your Eurocentric standards of beauty to me. No. <laughs> Man, my hive's been going buck wild since these blood ganking oh, butt crabs no. moved in. Oh, Gross. Been there, done that. <laughs> Are you all black with yellow stripes? Are you yellow with black stripes? Yellow with blacks, man. Why don't you just move along? Oh my god. Let me ask you something. Sting my wife? What kind of buzzing question is that? Where do you get the wings big enough to ask me that? <laughs> Can't abide all this B on B conflict. It's time to African Americanize these honeybees. Oh God! Listen up, bees. It what do you do? Mabumoja. It means unity. <laughs> you have to learn to work together again. They're gonna the work together to kill you. Tablecloth man is tablecloth man. Aside our differences. Black stripe, yellow stripe. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, we're just a couple of darn talking space. Yeah. Hey, forget about it. Come here and give me a sting. Uh -huh. Oh, they're Look falling off. The spirit Wanza is killing the parasites. Interesting. Yay! Yay! Yeah. But yeah! <laughs> Thank you, my. Your message of unity has touched our souls. We are once again of a single hive mind. Yep, to attack. Okay, run. Oh yeah. here to say Oh they killed him. Oh <laughs> Julius Kwanza, everybody. Oh, you're the candles now. Oh no. Ooh, that got dark. Featuring Bender, Leela, and me, Al Gore, as uh -huh. Captain Lance Starman. <laughs> and from all what? of us here at Gunderson's Nuts, happy holidays. Okay. <laughs> Well, that was fun. A holiday episode where we got to do a little bit of Kwanzaa, uh, of Christmas and Hanukkah, and a little musical numbers and some death for them multiple times. A lot of death. Um, I love that. The end of each holiday, they all died. How heartwarming, really. All right, very fun. I enjoyed that so much. I hope you guys did too. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.